Hey, I'm Sid, and let me show you how it feels like to use UI Dev Tools. So I have the you know famous Tailwind example on the left, and I built it with React. So I have a user card component. I pass it a bunch of data, and the user card component uses Tailwind CSS to style all of this. Now let me show you how I would tweak this without using UI Dev Tools. Let's add some padding, maybe P4. Uh, that doesn't look enough. P5, maybe P6. Okay, that looks good. And I want this text to be purple. So I'm going to do text purple, let's say, I think 500. No, that's not dark enough. 600. Mm, okay, 700. Too dark. I want 600. So this is what my workflow looks like. I make changes in text and I look at the visual preview to see if it looks good. If not, I make changes again. And I do this back and forth. Luckily, the refresh is pretty fast enough. But this is what I used to do before. So I would open Chrome DevTools and I would just change this value and till I find something I like and then I would copy paste this back to my CSS. Now, of course, Chrome DevTools doesn't understand my Tailwind config. So it's like, why would it? And uh, I'm kind of stuck in between. This is exactly why I built UI DevTools. So you can import it at the top of your application and it gives you an additional dev tool. But this dev tool understands your Tailwind config. So you see it picked up that this color is purple 600. Now let's change it to like a shade of blue. And you see I get instant feedback when I hover. I think I like this blue, so I'm gonna commit it. You see blue 500, it changes the code. Let's change the avatar as well. First of all, avatar should be round. I want full round. And then in size, let's see, uh, I think I like 15 or 16. I think I like 16 best. And that changes the code. So these two are always in sync and that's thanks to the UI DevTools server. So there's a server running on the terminal and you pass it your config. That's how it knows exactly which class name to write. And you can actually work on these both. So I can add another field over here and then I can inspect it immediately and change its color. So this should probably be, yeah, a little, yeah, this looks good, like a darkish gray. And you see it's coming from my custom color config. Um, that's kind of how it looks like. Let me show you a responsive mode. So if you go full screen, you can enable responsive mode. And this is what the card looks like in mobile. This is how it looks like in tablet, laptop, I think in laptop, we could do a horizontal layout instead of a vertical one. So I'm going to change column to row. And notice that I've, I have the laptop breakpoint selected. And uh, the text center looks bad now. So I'm going to change that to text left. And you see it supports like a bunch of things that Tailwind supports. And finally, I think this should have some margin right. So let's eyeball it. Uh, I think this looks best. Cool, close DevTools, yep, responsive. And you see it kind of writes the code that you would. So there's the large MR4, and this is for the large breakpoint, we did flex row, and we did text left instead of text center. Hopefully this gives you an overview of how it feels like to use UI DevTools, and how it can just attach on top of your workflow to give you better tooling. All right.